against the myth and against reality. Uh, and, uh, I'm moderator. Good morning. Today we start discussion dealing with uh, the pension savings and uh, a pension savings system. And uh, this, our first discussion is devoted to the myths and realities. Uh, the topic has been being discussed for dozens of years and uh, uh, during that period of time, uh, a lot of myths uh, has uh, grow, have grown. Uh, we have heard uh, recently from the Prime Minister that in some five, ten years there will be no, not enough uh, savings to pay pensions and uh, um, people immediately started to think how they will uh, uh, will survive uh, uh, in their later years. The government uh, um, back in uh, 2003 uh, has made the decision about non-governmental pension savings and pension funds and also some references to the second level of pension uh, savings was made but nevertheless wasn't launched. Mm, today we have uh, the uh, participants of our discussion, uh, Mr. Yaroslav Sidorovich, the former civil servant who th used to be the um, uh, <clears throat> member of uh, the uh, uh, s State uh, uh, Pension Savings uh, Committee. Uh, uh, Ms. Yaroslav, the floor is yours, uh, Mr. Sedorovich. Uh, uh, Madam Minister and all the discussion participants, I'm happy to welcome you here in this studio. I am not going to uh, uh, take off the uh, analytical uh, powers of Mr. Hramayev, the head of the National uh, Commission on Securities and uh, uh, Stock Markets, but uh, I, uh, I uh, will uh, make a short presentation devoted to the analysis of uh, my analysis analysis of current situation in the pension savings area. I'll try to share my screen. So pension savings and uh, um, uh, myths versus reality. Uh, Natalia had mentioned that uh, um, there are a lot of myths around uh, the pension savings and why we need to do this uh, to need to do something. The first thing is that according to the association agreement with the EU, Ukraine has to uh, ensure functional pension saving system according to the European being directive number 41 uh, from the year 2003. Uh, and uh, we have to transpose this directive into national legislation. The next reason is that the uh, Servant of the People political program promised to introduce the second tier of pension system. Uh, uh, then the uh, presidential office uh, promised to introduce the second level of the pension uh, accumulations, uh, pension savings. Um, 
then we have the financial uh, sector development strategy up to the year 2022 and uh, financial regulators participated in it and uh, there is uh, a objective number four according with uh, this uh, objective uh, or goal number four we have to introduce the um, we have to introduce uh, the um, the second level pension system by the end of this year uh yaroslav sorry we cannot see your screen your presentation uh i'm sorry i will try to to share the screen Um, on this graph, you see the deficit of the uh, um, uh, savings of the funds uh, or money in the pension fund of Ukraine. Uh, 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 in the pension hand, uh, in the pension fund there are some um, uh, payments that are done to the pensioners from the uh, national budget not from the pension fund and here you see the uh, picture the graph about the pension fund itself uh, Mm, this law from July 8, 2011 says that the, the uh, 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 insurance contributions to the pension savings fund should be introduced from the um, year 2012, which will ensure the um, uh, 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 full amount of money uh, in the pension fund uh, but unfortunately despite that optimistic statement we never received the uh, sufficient level of pension contributions to pay pensions in full scale here you have the uh, pension fund uh, uh, budget uh, uh, and the balance between revenues and uh, deficit uh, and uh, the green columns show uh, revenues while the red columns show the deficit and uh, mm. Uh, they dropped slightly in 2015, but they restored since 2017 and started to grow. Uh, uh, this uh, is a general budget of the uh, state pension fund, which includes uh, the um, contributions from the national budget. And uh, due to this fact that the pension fund was uh, um, uh, supplied from the national budget, the picture looked slightly better. Uh, here on this uh, slide, you see the yellow columns. This is funding from the state budget. Uh, green columns show the uh, uh, revenues of the pension fund from pension contributions. The blue columns, these are payments from the um, uh, uh, pension fund and uh, the red uh, 
columns this is deficit of the state pension fund and uh, looking at the macro indicators uh, uh, used for modeling uh, uh, the uh, predictions, uh, uh, monitor uh, macroeconomic predictions for the uh, next periods. It's easy to predict the deficit of the pension fund for for years ahead, and uh, uh, when we look at. Uh, 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 higher salaries and expect that uh, the pension uh, uh, fund contributions will grow, then we may assume that the deficit of the pension fund would drop. This is the um, uh, comparison of the uh, pension fund budget uh, uh, against uh, the GDP and uh, this graph is interesting uh, uh, because it shows the pension fund uh, uh, expenses uh, compared to GDP. Blue line shows the uh, pension fund budget. Green uh, uh, line shows the uh, pension fund revenues. And uh, the uh, red line shows the uh, GDP, uh, the pension fund deficit. Uh, deficit. Uh, the budget deficit uh, now amounts to uh, uh, um, uh, almost one percent of GDP. Uh, the biggest figure was in 2016, and uh, since that time, it started to drop. And uh, uh, and looking at this picture, you clearly see that back in 2016, the revenues of the pension fund dropped considerably. Uh, while this uh, slide shows uh, the picture with the securities uh, market uh, in Ukraine, in reality, only 1.39% of GDP uh, is uh, 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 contributed by private persons into the uh, um, securities market. If we go up, uh, one slide up, and uh, uh, look uh, at the this graph, we understand that the growth uh, uh, of uh, uh, securities market could be ten, 10 times uh, higher. I would like to remind you that uh, the sol uh, that the pay as you go system which is used now should become the deficit free uh, when we have the uh, secondary level the savings system um, mm, it should build up upon the uh, deficit free uh, primary uh, uh, pensions uh, uh, savings system, pensions uh, pay, payment system. When we look at the uh, pension fund, oh, we understand that unfortunately by the end of each year the pension fund has uh, uh, either negative accumulations or minimal uh, savings uh, by the end of each 
year and quite often they simply borrow money from the state budget not to say nothing about savings that might be uh, saved accumulated and uh, uh, multiplied how the deficit of the pension fund could be covered uh, uh, when uh, uh, the system of uh, uh, pensions uh, uh, was being modernized under Groisman government, I had a chance to discuss this with Mr. Miklas and uh, they uh, um, use the money from privatization for the uh, buffer fund between the uh, primary and secondary level of the pension savings. Uh, but nevertheless, one of the key issues here is the shadow economy. Uh, this picture, uh, this graph I took from the Ministry of Economy website uh, and uh, uh, in line with the data, 31% of GDP which is uh, one trillion uh, uh, three hundred billion uh, revenue of Ukrainian economy are in shadow uh, and if we manage to bring the, this uh, money out from the shadow, we will find uh, sufficient resources for the pension sin, uh, system. Also, the uh, servant of the people uh, political uh, program uh, promised the legalization of non-criminal capitals, uh, which also may contribute to this system. I want to, uh, I also want to say that uh, for this system, trust, transparency, uh, predictability, responsibility, and uh, motivation of uh, citizens are very important. Uh, 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 under motivation, I mean that all those savings sh should be subject to inheritance and uh, possibility to be um, used as a financial instrument. With this, I would like to give the floor to Ms. to Dr. Marina Lazebna, Minister of Social social policy of Ukraine. Miss um, Lazebna, are you here? Marina is here. Uh, uh, Miss Lazebna, you have uh, seen the um, presentation shown by uh, uh, Mr. Sidorovich, um, he focused his presentation on the uh, deficit of the pension fund. Or, uh, uh, how do you think whether the introduction of the secondary level of the pension system is possible for um, is possible now at this very moment in time? Thank you, Natalia, for this question. Thank you, dear colleagues, for this discussion. First of all, I would like to thank to the organizers of this discussion for uh, this uh, um, uh, for this uh, topic. Uh, uh, Yaroslav mentioned uh, trust. Uh, 
uh, responsibility and motivation, but uh, I believe that the biggest uh, uh, value is the openness of discussion. We are lagging behind with the secondary uh, pension system. If you look at the uh, horizons of the policy, the priority number one should be to introduce the secondary uh, level. The uh, substitution coefficient is dropping. And uh, uh, we uh, frankly speak that 20 Nine percent of uh, pensioners uh, are um, do not, will not have pension. If you have a salary of uh, ten thousand hryvnia, then your pension will be two thousand hryvnia per month. Uh, um, uh, uh, we cannot raise taxes. We cannot increase the single uh, social payments. We cannot uh, uh, raise other taxes and uh, we uh, uh, pay uh, many pensions from the state budget. Uh, 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 to uh, uh, military men, to those people who uh, raise very small pensions. Many experts uh, uh, keep saying that uh, um, we should sanitize the pay-as-you-go system, uh, bring back migrant, labor migrants, bring back uh, um, mm. Uh, legalize the shadow economy. But uh, when we look at the experience of other countries, uh, Slovakia, Poland, uh, uh, they uh, provided people with incentives, uh, medical insurance and uh, 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 s s uh, pension savings. I believe that only this tools would allow to uh, bring economy out from the shadow. What situation do we have today? Uh, we think that we have to introduce the uh, pension savings, uh, uh, pension accumulation system. Uh, and we have the draft law uh, and we are ready for discussion. Uh, 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 draft law 26. Uh, 53 it may become the uh, beginning and lay down the foundations for the pension accumulation system the prime minister mentioned that the secondary pension level uh, uh, could be introduced within the um, uh, those uh, contributions and payments uh, that are today paid from the current salaries. And this only shows that we uh, clearly see that without secondary level of the pension system, we will be unable to pay pensions in future. And we have to think about that today we addressed uh, to the uh, uh, cabinet of ministers and uh, uh, the cabinet would uh, um, uh, enter the draft law 2683 into the parliament by the end of this year and uh, we wish to introduce uh, the new system from July 1st next, next year. Uh, start our preparations from January 
first 2022 would start to uh, uh, accumulate money on the personal accounts of people we will start from the two plus two system of course there is space for discussion how to protect the assets and the issue how to uh, uh, protect that savings. Uh, we have clearly specified how uh, we will use that money, uh, how we will raise uh, sufficient income, uh, how we will protect uh, that individual savings. I am ready to discuss discussion with our colleagues. Uh, thank you. Uh, Madam Minister has limited time, so thank you for your um, oh, answer. Uh, today we planned participation of Ms. Tretyakova, an MP of, and uh, chair, chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee uh, in Social Policy Issues, That's, but she is absent uh, uh, here today. And we hope to have further discussion with her later next months, months. Uh, we only would like to emphasize that discussions between the ministry experts and the parliament continues. Uh, and now I'm pleased to give the floor to Mr. Timur Hramayev, head of the National Commission on Securities and Stock Markets. Uh, 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 um, the discussion about uh, uh, split uh, has been held for a long time about uh, redivision of responsibilities between your commission and uh, the uh, uh, financial services uh, commission. And uh, now you have all the possibility to uh, keep but uh, under uh, uh, control and uh, monitoring the um, uh, some aspects of the uh, financial services, securities market, uh, etc. There is an opinion that uh, a private pensional savings uh, is a non-controlled function. And uh, please tell us about the functions of your committee, whether you can efficiently control the secondary level of pension system in case it would be introduced, as the Ministry of Social Policy mentioned. And uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you for inviting me. Um, before answering your question, I would like to um, mm, mm, uh, to provide some background to the current situation with the pension savings. Uh, uh, during the last six years, uh, when we started uh, uh, the current processes in uh, today's uh, 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 commission, we always had been thinking that the secondary level should be made the priority, and we have to move uh, to it, uh, uh, but we should not start it from uh, uh, simply getting money. We have to develop the strategy where to invest that money first. I fully agree with the previous 
speakers that the secondary pension uh, level um, of savings in is needed. But when uh, we think about preconditions, uh, um, we uh, were we had been moving during the last six years. The financial services market has to be modernized, and its instruments has have to be brought up to the level of the European um, st uh, standards. We have to transpose the the European directives which will enable us to introduce the secondary level of pension savings. Also protection of investments. Protection of investments is the key element uh, for the uh, functioning of the system which may ensure the uh, uh, pension savings. Our cooperations with the IMF, with the World Bank, with our colleagues uh, from the uh, securities uh, uh, bodies uh, from the United States, Germany, the UK, uh, 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 had shown us that we have to carry out the gap analysis of our uh, stock markets or financial instruments uh, 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 against the um, Western systems. We had carried out that gap analysis and presented uh, it uh, the um, uh, the outcomes of that gap analysis were not satisfactory, unfortunately. And that gap analysis had shown us what we have to reach before launching the secondary uh, level of pension uh, savings, and uh, this is reflected now in the current memorandum between Ukraine and IMF. Perhaps you heard about uh, Draft Law 6301, uh, according to which we have to ensure access to the personal data investigations, cooperation with the law enforcement system to prevent uh, abuse of the uh, accumulated pension funds. Moreover, during the last two, three years, we witnessed several cases with Ukrbud, Arkada Bank, B2B, and uh, dozens of other financial pyramids. Uh, and uh, uh, schemes uh, resulted in a huge uh, damage and losses uh, 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 to our uh, co-citizens and damages the rep and damage the reputation of the savings system. Uh, so we need to have powers to ensure protection of the system against any uh, abuse and fraud. Ukraine is the only country in Europe which does not have full-fledged financial regulator. Uh, uh, that split which you mentioned, uh, this is just administrative reform which uh, removed one more regulator. E actually, the quality of regulation uh, function has uh, not uh, changed.
the quality of information disclosure, the uh, uh, control over activities of pension funds uh, um, exist and is uh, carried out by the uh, Financial Services uh, Commission, but it is uh, insufficient for, uh, for the modern reality. The draft law, which I mentioned, uh, uh, we had been developing for the last two years. I'm grateful to Galina Tritakova, who uh, uh, was the author of the draft law and uh, now uh, promotes it in the parliament. We are we stand for the dialogue and we believe that the draft law could become a good foundation for the secondary uh, uh, level of the pension uh, system. Uh, and uh, this was about draft law 2683 and nevertheless we uh, uh, now are drafting the draft law 6303, which will allow us to prevent financial pyramids and all sorts of fraud in uh, fraud in, in this uh, financial savings system. I also would like to mention. Uh, the introduction of the new tools in the financial markets. Uh, the government, uh, the parliament, and of course the presidential office uh, 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 had been thinking about uh, uh, draft law 2280 for about the capital markets uh, this open this will open the new uh, story for ukrainian financial market uh, it will allow us to introduce many instruments which could be Uh, uh, good uh, investment tools uh, for the pension funds, for potential pension funds. Uh, our commission faces uh, a big task to ensure preparation of secondary legislation under this uh, uh, framework law and uh, we hope that municipalities, corporations uh, will uh, launch uh, the emission as, uh, of uh, uh, stock uh, of shares uh, or securities and uh, and we are thinking about uh, sales of uh, 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 derived securities and the more complicated tools. Uh, all those elements, they are important and they will ensure uh, civilized and professional work in the stocks, uh, stock markets. Uh, uh, which did not take into account the uh, general level of understanding among population about uh, financial market or stock market uh, instruments. So uh, I mentioned the law 6303 about the powers of regulator and we are targeting uh, 
productive cooperation between all the players in the market according to the law 2683. We believe that the accumulation uh, system should be simple, uh, understandable to all the players. It should be based on the latest uh, uh, achievements in technologies and it should be also sufficient. Uh, as to the secondary uh, level, sh uh, our approach is that it should ensure sufficient level of uh, uh, substitution everything which amounts up to 7 10 percent of uh, savings is enough unless people start to save uh, sufficient uh, volumes sufficient amounts of uh, savings uh, um, in the first years uh, uh, then this uh, this should be up to thirty percent of thirty uh, uh, percent of uh, uh, incomes in the first years. I uh, discussed much about the quality of regulations, uh, but we also uh, believe that. To the requirements to the market participants should be uh, uh, raised up to the European level. Uh, we should prevent uh, the um, offers of low quality uh, financial uh, services um, to uh, consumers um, only due to the poor regulations. That's why our requirements uh, to the activities, corporate governance, risk management, uh, owners of the um, uh, private investment institutions are uh, of, of the investment institutions and emittents. Uh, and the fifth element uh, is uh, good work of the state fiscal system, pension fund administrators uh, of the secondary uh, pension system level. Uh, including private participants of the market, the uh, uh, stock management uh, or capital management uh, funds, they should be transparent. And disclosure of information as to accumulated money, uh, net assets uh, should be impeccable and allow uh, all the participants uh, uh, to assess the quality of the savings system. I am very much interested to hear your questions and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Timur. Um, how do you think uh, whether the uh, stock market is ready for the launch of the secondary level of savings? Uh, today, do uh, today? Do you mean today or uh, when? Uh, I mean this year. Physically, we cannot launch this as of now. Um, uh, we are discussing the launch of the system in the future, and in order to launch this system in the future, we have to uh, uh, align to build up the stocks market uh, uh, for the, uh, the securities market for the future. I'm 
sure that financial market will get ready in two in one two years uh, they will become ready to invest money efficiently we have to be very open um, that uh, during the first five years the savings would not uh, grow considerably the savings will be between 15 20 billion revenue per year they said the amount which the market will not be able to digest so to say uh, I believe that in some 12 or 24 months our market will become ready for the launch of the secondary level. Uh, uh, as far as I understood from your words, uh, uh, we are almost ready. Uh, I encourage you to stay with us. We will have uh, the contribution uh, and interventions from the uh, experts. Uh, uh, now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Melnichuk, Vice President of uh, Kinta. This is a mm, mm, private pension, no, non government, uh, private pension f uh, fund, uh, Kinta. Vitali has a uh, uh, very broad experience in management of the uh, private uh, pension fund. Vitali, we had been discussing here myths and realities today. Uh, Vitali, as far as I know, uh, you wanted to uh, uh, discuss the myths. Uh, uh, that it is not the right moment and the state can uh, uh, de protect everything. People um, are scared to lose their savings uh, uh, and uh, whether you may comment about uh, a year or two uh, which are needed to our uh, securities market to get ready. Thank you, Natalia. As you mentioned, this uh, topic uh, had raised a lot of myths and I tried to specify this myth. Uh, myth number one, introduction of the pension savings system is one of the current reforms which uh, deals with the future pensioners and is lobbied by uh, all sorts of uh, 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 Freudland uh, people. Um, I would uh, 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 like to mention that uh, the expenses of the pension fund amounted to 44% of the budget revenues. Uh, the uh, uh, this hampers macroeconomic stability. This also ruins social stability. Political stability is under threat and economic growth uh, is endangered. Uh, 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 everywhere in the world, in the United States, in the Netherlands, in Czech Republic, Poland, Slovak Republic, uh, Republic uh, allocate a lot of pension funds into internal investments and economic growth, while in Ukraine, this is only 108 million dollars. Uh, this is less than in Georgia, uh, Armenia, 
Mm, the second myth, introduction of the uh, pension savings system uh, is uh, 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 not the best idea, it's too early. Uh, this uh, on this slide you see the stages of the pension reform the reform of the first level that is pays your go system then introduction of the third level um, and uh, it was uh, uh, there was a provision about introduction of the secondary level since 2005 and up to 2009. Uh, the second level was not introduced and today we keep hearing that the, we are not ready for the secondary level. I may uh, answer the potential question why it happened uh, the we showed weak uh, spirit non sufficient level of professionalism uh, uh, and you know how who have uh, to be blamed Myth number three, we do not have resources for payment of contributions to the uh, secondary uh, pension savings and this is a big burden for the state pension fund uh, and for employee, uh, employers. Uh, 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 the, uh, 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 single uh, social contribution was cut down and uh, out of that 20%, uh, 7% uh, had to be paid to the secondary level uh, pension system. Myth number four, introduction of the savings pension system. Uh, uh, requires establishment of specialized state monopolies, centralized savings fund, and uh, involvement of the central administrator. Mm. The, uh, one of the preconditions for the launch of the uh, secondary uh, pension uh, uh, level, the uh, experience should be gained for the private pension savings. This uh, experience has been gained during the last 16 years. We survived through the uh, crisis, financial crisis of 2008 and uh, the crisis uh, of the war in Donbass. Then the uh, uh, currency exchange ra rate pr uh, crisis when we also um, survived uh, the corruption scandals. Uh, we uh, uh, never were blamed or charged against any uh, abuse or violation of le uh, legislation, while other um, banks and uh, financial institutions were uh, charged in uh, fraud, etc. Uh, his uh, the analysis of advantages and disadvantages between centralized and uh, non-centralized system brings us to conclusion that the majority of myths about uh, second level of savings uh, is uh, uh, are not true. Introduction of the system is uh, uh, an important factor for financial and social responsibility that this step uh, will uh, 
uh, strengthen social protection of citizens and sanitize the financial situation and uh, uh, push up the economic growth in this country. Now, I would like to give the floor to uh, Mr. Savchenko, director of the uh, capital management company Vsesvit, uh, 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 expert of Ukrainian Association of the uh, administrators of pension funds. There is an opinion that the secondary uh, pension level could not be introduced uh, in the periods of crisis. The idea that uh, the savings uh, uh, um, uh, system should not be uh, launched uh, during crisis because there is a big risk uh, that it won't survive. Uh, that because crisis may uh, destroy the savings, that the uh, savings system are subject to financial economic crisis, are very vulnerable, uh, um, that the uh, um, uh, the period of investment should be long and it could be interrupted. Of course, crises uh, uh, have a negative impact on savings, but how do they uh, uh, have this impact on savings and how we may mitigate this risk and prevent uh, the losses? Of course, uh, uh, during crisis, the value of some assets drops, but not all the assets value drop. Uh, there are some um, assets which uh, uh, which value do not uh, uh, go down, the, and this risk could be mitigated uh, through diversification of savings. This could be uh, bank deposits, securities, shares, bank metals, real estate, and others. That is, I would like to emphasize once again that not all the assets uh, uh, value drop during crisis. Of course, uh, the uh, bank system uh, cleaning and uh, um, uh, death of uh, several banks uh, from 2015 is a good example. But uh, uh, if you uh, uh, invest assets in different financial instruments, you have higher chances to uh, preserve the, and multiply your savings. There is the uh, r risk of low liquidity of the pension funds. The major uh, objective of pension fund is to pay pensions and uh, of course uh, the level of contributions may drop and uh, <clears throat> when crisis comes uh, the uh, decrease in incomes result in uh, the decrease of savings but at the same time the private pension funds uh, they have to pay pensions and this could be 
uh, done that is to balance the input and output flows uh, is better management uh, of liquidity that is there might be short term securities uh, well balanced or short term instruments uh, financial instruments uh, well balanced with the long term instruments this good balance between high liquidity and lower liquidity is the key for uh, for good operation of the uh, private pension funds uh, uh, our uh, um, private pension funds in ukraine are operational from the year 2000 three twenty oh four and we survived through th several crises the crisis from twenty oh eight Oh, we uh, witnessed uh, um, the GDP drop, growing inflation up to twenty two percent, and devaluation of national currency uh, uh, from five to eight even up per one US dollar. Uh, uh, after crisis of 2014-2015, Ukrainian GDP also dropped the uh, currency exchange rate, dropped that as devaluation of Rivna happened, etc. Once again, um, uh, the, here you see how the uh, 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 private pension funds survived through that uh, uh, two crises um, minimal pension bank deposits inflation and uh, uh, private pension funds uh, So the minimal pension had grown by 31%, bank deposits had grown 77%, inflation had grown uh, one, uh, more than 100%, while the state pension funds uh, had uh, grow the income has grown uh, uh, so, uh, more than 100 uh, uh, percent uh, on this slide you see the assets which grow uh, in the crisis times thus gold has grown in price by 92 percent during the period of 2007-2009. This rescued the uh, savings actually. Uh, this illustration showed only two crises which we faced uh, in the uh, recent in latest years mm. of course we may predict that in future we will have more crisis and uh, um, our objective is uh, to um, uh, diversify savings uh, to ensure well-balanced uh, liquidity. The experience shown by uh, Ukrainian uh, private uh, pension funds had proven that uh, savings could be made, that they could be invested, and that um, uh, investors may gain from their investments. Now I would like to give the floor to Olga Bandarenko, uh, a founder of the charity fund Let's Help, which uh, uh, takes care uh, about elderly people houses. Uh, 
they are under the uh, state pension fund mutual assistance uh, you uh, manage or take care about the care houses for elderly people uh, please describe why how you stepped from the charity fund to the private uh, uh, pension savings fund uh, i have to warn you that in uh, my intervention, I will raise the issues which are not mentioned quite often um, uh, and which will emphasize the need to uh, promote pension reform. During the last six years, uh, my family is uh, uh, the owner of uh, the uh, uh, um, uh, charity uh, uh, institutions and uh, we six years ago we founded the let's help and uh, now we have 142 care houses uh, where there is uh, 34,000 of aged people uh, we uh, we involve uh, volunteers uh, um, uh, 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 we organize the flash mobs and actions to attract attention to the problems of elderly people. Uh, uh, we involved uh, prominent figures and stars to a uh, flash mob in supermarkets when people help elderly people to pay for the foodstuff. The objective was to attract attention to the problems of the elderly people. I would not discuss well-known demographic facts, the uh, worst uh, situation with the pension fund uh, 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 funds and uh, what we observe that the life on pension becomes longer uh, people try to plan their pension to travel to uh, uh, have a good quality of life i would like uh, to share the video which we uh, shoot for one of our um, uh, flash mob uh, in this video uh, you will see the real life uh, which is around us now i would like to share the screen to show you what we had seen in the streets Uh, our parents used to ask us what was uh, um, our dream of uh, whom we wanted to become when we had grown. There were so many professions uh, 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 to choose from, but nobody asked us who we would to become uh, uh, as elderly people and the um, Mm. Now we are pensioners, we are in great misery. 
we do not have any option whom to be. I have to survive. Unfortunately, the sound is get interrupted. It's almost impossible to translate. We cannot hear the input. The sound impact is very bad. This is the life around us. This only proves the fact that pensioners in our country socially are very humiliated. This ruins our country. because the pensioners are very unhappy in this country. Uh, that's why I felt, well, uh, uh, I felt uh, uh, satisfied when the Prime Minister recognized openly that in some 10, 15 years, the state will be un would be unable to pay pensions at all and uh, we have to open frank dialogue with the society and warn people that we are moving towards uh, uh, pension uh, collapse and uh, people uh, uh, have to be prepared to the pensions. Uh, all the time I had been asking why we have got this situation with the uh, pensioners in our country and having analyzed uh, uh, what have, has happened, I came to conclusion. Let us analyze two life models in Ukraine and in the U.S. We may take the Western experience as a benchmark. I would like to show you this slide. And you will see how this is an American model of life from five uh, five years old children start going uh, to school. At the age of 18, young people go to college. From the uh, from 23 years of age, young people start to uh, open pension accounts. This is uh, called uh, account uh, 401. Uh, from the age of uh, 30 years old, uh, young people People uh, create families, take mortgage, build up their careers, uh, allocate uh, money for uh, education of their children. And uh, uh, since uh, the year, uh, the age of 62 years, uh, the parents uh, uh, um, uh, start to, to uh, uh, start to go to pension uh, uh, 
and uh, change their lifestyle. They uh, relocate to pension uh, areas uh, where uh, uh, from that uh, pension areas uh, people can can uh, um, get a lot of benefits like create new families go traveling and at the age of around 80 years old they relocate to the uh, institutions of assisted living the sound uh, gets interrupted uh, that assisted living requires uh, um, uh, uh, um, requires uh, uh, special savings and uh, uh, at this age uh, elderly people relocate uh, to these uh, care houses uh, in early period in Ukraine, uh, uh, we have the same uh, uh, lifestyle, but uh, uh, at the age of 23, now pension accounts are created. Uh, then we also build up our careers, take mortgage, uh, 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 and we uh, educate our children at the age at this age up to 60 years we start to support our parents we do not have any uh, uh, opportunities for uh, vacation or holiday uh, or something else uh, also, our uh, parents have to maintain their children up to 30 years of age. And uh, uh, by the age of 60 years old, we uh, go to pension. And, uh, uh, and in many cases, people are fired from the age of 60 or 65 years of age in Ukraine, we start to get state pension and uh, we start to um, uh, uh, use our uh, accumulated resources like home appliances, uh, clothes, it's and after the 65 or 70 years of age, uh, uh, our children start to maintain us. And when uh, elderly people are subject uh, to the care of uh, uh, children, they uh, are not the object of decision making, but they are the subjects of care. Uh, while instead of that, uh, uh, young, uh, young people have to launch their uh, uh, accumulation uh, pension savings account and start to uh, build up uh, their pension. Uh, that's why we have to introduce the secondary level of uh, pension system. Otherwise, uh, we um, will proceed uh, with this uh, objectiveness of elderly people, that is, with the fact that they are object, not subjects uh, of decision making. Uh, we have uh, bought uh, the, one of the private pension funds uh, for two years. I've been tracing back how this uh, uh, how 
this uh, system of private pension funds uh, has been working. I should uh, say that uh, that private pension funds are rather efficient, they are very transparent and they allow diversification of savings for a long term uh, liquidity. And uh, uh, in, in this moment, we have to introduce the secondary level of the pension system and the draft law, which is now in the parliament uh, has to be passed with uh, better uh, in uh, in better version in a pro improved version mm, and when i hear about those people who hamper introduction of the secondary people i uh, i uh, feel myself surprised Uh, those who cannot do this have to be fired from their positions in uh, state service or uh, government official, officials intentionally do not wish to introduce this. And in this case, this should be uh, the subject of, the, of investigation for law enforcement agencies. Because uh, if we postpone this, we may ruin the lives of people in future. Thank you, Olga, for your emotional intervention. I have recollected the session uh, in the parliament. I used to be a, a member of parliament of the eighth convocation. Uh, and during our uh, uh, parliamentary committee meetings, one of the experts mentioned that in those countries where the secondary accumulation, uh, secondary level of pension accumulations is introduced, uh, it is beneficiary for the state to, to uh, uh, support people and encourage them to live longer, while for uh, Ukrainian uh, state it is more beneficiary uh, that uh, people uh, die in uh, the age of 80. Now I would like to give the floor to Oleg Ustenka, who is the economist uh, advisor to the president of Ukraine and member of the supervisory board of the International Blazer Foundation. Um, mm. We have heard Olga's uh, intervention about uh, uh, real lives of Ukrainian pensioners, uh, about possible prospects, etc. How do you think, what are the major challenges for the pension system in Ukraine? Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak here today. I would uh, start from the a uh, statement by President Zelensky in Davos uh, when he uh, spoke about new normality. Uh, uh, the world is, uh, uh, is uh, changing and uh, uh, it is finding new normalities, everything changes a big number of uh, economic centers uh, move uh, and uh, change their faces and this influences the uh, status of Ukrainian economy uh, and of course those movements in the economic system uh, um, entail the 
uh, changes in the lifestyles that bring new challenges and uh, 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 provide new opportunities. The models of behavior which uh, the previous speaker described looks uh, rather logical, but I would uh, suggest that this model will not remain stable uh, as of today. Uh, COVID-19 has brought new challenges and new level of uncertainties to the global economy. There's also added uncertainty uh, to the uh, in a short term and even in a middle term perspective. Uh, uh, would be uh, um, uncertain, so to say. When we think uh, about all the complex of uh, uh, pension uh, uh, system and compare this with the economic growth uh, of Ukraine and neighboring countries. We expect to have 5% drop uh, this year in the economic growth and uh, uh, in the next year the growth will be up to 4.5% under optimistic scenario. And uh, uh, against uh, the um, assumption that we need to have 5% GDP growth every year to cope uh, uh, poverty in this country, this all suggests that perhaps uh, we would not be able to cope poverty in the nearest two, three years. This nevertheless does not mean that the pension problem should not be resolved. And of course, we understand that inefficiencies of the Ukrainian pension system, inefficiencies of the pay-as-you-go system, oh, and the current generation provides the means for the uh, uh, previous generation. Mm. Uh, it has proved uh, its uh, 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 gaps uh, uh, and uh, the deficiencies of that uh, system uh, um, were inevitable due to the aging of population, due to the outflow of labor migrants, uh, which is an important factor for the economic growth. Uh, there are two factors, the labor force and capital, which uh, promotes economic, which supports economic growth. And if you have the problems with the labor force, this inevitably would hamper, hamper your economic growth. And the outflow of labor migrants destabilized, of course, Ukrainian pension system. Now we have increased migration from Ukraine. Uh, uh, and we had this uh, during the years 2014, 2016, up to 5 million of people migrated from Ukraine. And uh, um, uh, these are those people who had to pay taxes and uh, pension contributions uh, uh, and uh, 
to maintain elderly population those uh, people um, disappeared from our economic model whether we will be able to resolve this problem in a short-term perspective based on the uh, pay-as-you-go approach, which means that uh, the pay-as-you-go system w will remain inefficient. How, whether it is possible to resolve this problem, uh, it is possible to resolve it uh, uh, in a long-term perspective. It is possible to improve the demographic situation. It is possible to resolve it if you ensure better economic growth uh, higher than 5% uh, GDP annually. then uh, the openness of borders and migration are op whether we are sure that uh, uh, stimulating migration uh, of uh, uh, migrants to Ukraine uh, is possible without insurance of high economic growth. Uh, but I think that we will need to make these decisions because the majority of countries uh, uh, try to resolve the pension problem by uh, bringing more migrants, uh, labor migrants, to the country to stimulate uh, the um, uh, nativity uh, higher levels of new births. Uh, we have to ensure the investment space, we have to take care about education, about health care. But these are a long term issues. Why, in short term, we uh, we have to tackle the problem of inefficient pension system in Ukraine. During the last 10 years, the current pension system has been lagging behind the economic realities. About, now, about alternative projects, uh, alternative options. Uh, the launch of so-called uh, savings pension system or uh, accumulation pension system. The, we do not have many options here. The secondary level uh, of pension savings you make it's compulsory and uh, the so-called uh, tertiary level of uh, pension savings when uh, when you encourage people to make uh, pension savings in private pension funds uh, here i uh, make, uh, may, uh, I'm thinking about even state participation in the private pension funds. Uh, in some countries, this is allowed, uh, and uh, the state participates not only via um, regulation, but also allows participation of uh, uh, some state companies in the private pension funds. As of now, I oppose uh, uh, introduction of the secondary pension savings level 
uh, in that form which is uh, suggested by the majority of uh, uh, Ukrainian experts. Uh, and the major reason for uh, this, my opposition, is uh, that uh, uh, we are meaning uh, uh, rather poor country. We should understand that the secondary uh, level has uh, to be formed by uh, the employees, but employees uh, uh, has to main have to maintain the current generation of pensioners and uh, pay money to the secondary level, which uh, in current conditions of uncertainty w may result in the sound disappeared totally. We will thank you to Oleg for his presentation. As far as I, I as far as I understood that Oleg was against centralized uh, a pension savings system, the majority of experts oppose the centralized model. They stand for decentralized. Uh, system. Perhaps Grigori will uh, describe this. Now I would like to give the floor to Grigori Avcharenko, who is uh, director of the uh, Association of uh, Private uh, Pension Funds, uh, uh, the head of the unit. Uh, uh, on local uh, assets management. Uh, there is a myth that uh, 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 there is nowhere to invest uh, savings. Uh, the investments uh, the, and the savings system uh, uh, was ruined by the, Zberg, the, the uh, Soviet Union Sberbank uh, collapse when people were frightened so much that they stopped uh, uh, to make uh, savings. Um, Mr. Vcherenko, could you describe whether the tertiary uh, uh, pension uh, savings system is worth uh, 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 trust? Uh, our parents remember how savings devaluated, and uh, uh, this explains why a big number of people do not wish to hear anything about uh, uh, savings that's uh, uh, when our colleagues, uh, colleagues uh, keep saying that there is nowhere to invest, uh, uh, if I am not an expert and I hear this statement, I, of course, uh, I am not willing to invest uh, uh, or to save money for investments. Uh. Just imagine that uh, today we have decided to introduce the savings system uh, in line with the scheme 2 plus 2. Then the uh, savings would amount to 26 billion hryvnia. The objective of the savings is to first to preserve money. So first step is to ensure the, uh, that is we have to invest into something with a fixed uh, uh, 
uh, with the uh, with the rather higher uh, profitability. The second task of the uh, saving system is to increase the uh, buying capacity. Uh, today, inflation is lesser than 4%. Well, so what instruments, what tools do we have today? The deposits. The deposits amount to three trillion rivna. This is fifty times higher than uh, twenty-six billion. The average uh, rate uh, on deposit is uh, uh, five percent uh, is enough. All the European countries where they have a save, uh, system of saving, they accumulate two, three percent of income. So if you have five percent, this allows you to accumulate a lot of money. Today, we have 80 billion of state securities in circulation, even, even if we deduct uh, what the National Bank has, this, uh, the, even the rest will be, be a huge amount of money. I believe that all those uh, that all our savings could be invested into the bank deposits and uh, uh, the government uh, securities. And uh, why uh, people do not do this? Uh, 1.5 trillion euros in Europe are invested into this simple strategies which allow us to save our money for the future. Uh, the municipal securities may amount to up to 10 percent uh, of security uh, uh, 10% uh, of their capital. Um, of course, the uh, sh share uh, market is not developed in Ukraine. We do not have institutional investors, uh, and uh, only 3 billion hryvnia are saved in the private pension funds. And I believe that the secondary uh, uh, pension uh, system level would develop the share, uh, the market of shares. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, we have emittents of uh, uh, um, of uh, securities uh, in Ukraine uh, and pension funds may invest into foreign uh, financial instruments. Uh, they can invest into treasuries, into T-bills, uh, that is, uh, uh, they are allowed in Ukraine. You may invest into them, but today 90% of assets in Ukraine are invested into deposits into the Ukrainian T-bills. Uh, because that they offer higher interest rates, and these are very conservative instruments. If you calculate uh, uh, all the instruments of fixed uh, 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 
revenues we have almost uh, three uh, billion this are many times higher than the assets of the secondary uh, pension system uh, I think that 3 billion is rather convincing figure many experts keep saying and uh, shape the uh, social opinion ask such an expert whether they have an account in securities or whether they have the individual pension savings if they say no they say goodbye to such an expert i sh should confess that i have the individual pension savings account thank you gregory you added optimism now i would like to give the floor to timofey malavanov an ex minister of the uh, trade economy and agriculture in ukraine and the honorable president of uh, a business school um Timofey, we know your position is to the uh, pension accumulation system. Recently, you uh, posted your statement uh, on Facebook, pen, uh, pensions which we, you, uh, which we will not get. Uh, mm. There is a myth. I have a very small salary. How I can accumulate any savings? Why people in Ukraine have to accumulate uh, something or to save something? It's quite clear why uh, in developed countries people have pension savings. Why it is necessary to do in Ukraine? First of all, I do not support the compulsory uh, saving, pension saving system. If a person is willing to do that, uh, then this, is, uh, uh, this should be promoted. But you should not uh, uh, make it compulsory. I uh, to the pen, to the economic policy in the uh, uh, savings system uh, later, but we need to make some uh, buffer, uh, safety buffer uh, in case of illness. Uh, uh, you should. Uh, 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 have savings for the uh, case of COVID or a case of uh, uh, um, uh, dangerous illness, uh, etc. For the majority of uh, people, the uh, any um, situation of crisis may result in the uh, sale of uh, apartment, etc. Um, uh, the next reason for savings is that uh, you should uh, uh, have s uh, some money for the uh, for the pension. Uh, Having a deposit, some securities, a, a land plot, something uh, uh, is very useful, which would allow you to sell piece by piece uh, and uh, survive while the state, of course, will be unable to ensure you the same level. Um, of uh, maintenance in Ukraine the level of income is uh, too small to save something which actually means that in a situation of uh, 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 some losses or uh, city if situation uh, changes for the worse you would become very very poor you will go to misery actually mm. 
of course you may waste everything that you have now but the choice is yours you can make savings now people underestimate how quickly the pension comes and how much to save uh, you may start from 10 hryvna uh, 20 hryvna and uh, there would be a um, uh, seducing to spend the, this at some moment and you have to learn how to save all that money not to spend it you may uh, you can make savings at the level of uh, uh, five percent uh, three percent and uh, within one year if you save one year salary and invest it uh, in right way then you will accumulate enough money to survive during your mention many people keep saying that uh, uh, this is a theory then in this case you have to look for better job today if today you have a job which does not allow you to save at least one two percent per year then you should do something uh, during the recent five years half of people in this world will need to change their jobs so this on the one hand this is a crisis this is uh, uh, on the other hand there is an opportunity what the state can do the state may decrease taxes or to uh, use more efficiently those taxes which are collected now we have to recognize that we are poor state um, today and uh, social support should be based not on the um, fairness approach but on the approach that uh, uh, this is a support to those who needs it most even if we increase all the pensions twice we would not be able to provide sufficiently for everybody we should not give uh, to everybody we should maintain only those families which uh, uh, require it most not specific people but the families uh, i would structure the assistance in this country not the pensions but social assistance and would make it well targeted uh, Today we only started this discussion and we had not enough time to discuss many issues. And we have put aside a lot of questions coming from people. Quite often people uh, ask, used to ask me, uh, I'm 34, I'm thinking about pension isn't it too early and i kept answering that it was too late you should start thinking about pension at the age of 20 23 years and you should start thinking about yourself in a pension age now i would like to announce our further discussions this would be devoted to the efficient state regulations of the pension savings we will discuss the risks and prospects of state regulation of the uh, pension savings uh, there are discussions about the secondary level of pension system and uh, uh, whether they should be entrusted to the state 
which should be entrusted uh, to the private pension funds which have experience of more than 16 years um, and uh, whether to create competition uh, among them then we will look at the professional pension system and uh, the years of service pension. Quite often people uh, work uh, on uh, dangerous or hazardous jobs and plan to go to pension earlier and then the state uh, uh, eliminates these pensions while the health is damaged and they cannot uh, proceed working. These topics will be discussed uh, during our further discussions. Whether we have several minutes, no, we have no time left. If you have any questions, you may ask them in comments under our uh, stream on the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center website. We are very grateful to UCMC for the platform for this discussion. We will answer your questions uh, on our website of uh, ANTS. Mm, uh, website. I'm very grateful to all the speakers who had come or joined our discussion here in the room. So to be continued.